Good morning friends, it's Tracy from Mejia's Family Farm and today I wanted to tell you how excited I am that we will be receiving our mini split heating and air conditioning unit today within the next hour or so. I'm so excited. That won't be able to get put up till Sunday but at least I can take some uh, video of that and let you know how it's working as well as how easy it is to install. Um, it is a ductless unit so the only thing you need is your unit inside the house and then your unit outside the house. Um, so we're excited to get that. That, like I said, should be delivered today. Um, on that side note, I also purchased some awesome material just like my uh, apron that I received that I was talked about in a previous video. So I'm so excited to get that. Um, I'm going to be making curtains for the kitchen and I will be lining it with some uh, canvas type material so to keep a little bit of the sun out because as you see um, above me I have no light on and on my side over here that the sun does get pretty bright in the morning because it rises on this side so we want to keep a little bit of that out I do like the sun personally I open all the windows I even open the door um, in the morning I pretty much keep it open all day which is a good thing about living here kind of in the middle of nowhere but about uh, 13 miles into town but it's it's really peaceful you can have your door open um, and it's pretty cool the ranchers a uh, my, couple miles down the road did let out their um, herd today uh, a few days ago actually um, so we do we are seeing some cows wandering around so on our to-do list will be um, one of those electric fences um, because the cows do feel it and from what I hear they also let out some bulls this time which is um, in a way it's okay to me but they don't scare easily so if they're in on your property and they're messing with your chickens per se um, they're not going to be spooked by you so they're just going to stay there and keep messing with the chickens because obviously they know they're bigger than you and you know that's they don't care so with that being said we do want to get the electric fence up at least around the perimeter of our property um, or around the house and the chicken coop so not too big maybe a hundred feet um, on each way to go around the house and the chicken coop and um, stuff like that I did hear also that they like to chew wires so any wires that we had outside as far as like generator wires or <clears throat> any wires coming into the house so they are kind of covered and they're underground so we're okay with that but we do have an extension cord because we do run our water with a an RV water pump so that does sometimes we we use it every day so there's a battery hooked up to that and there is an extension cord so I kind of tuck that under the house with the hopes that if they do get close that they won't be able to chew it um, on that side note um, there will be some more updates obviously because we're getting the mini split today um, and I'm getting my material so I'm so excited to sew some curtains. Um, I did want to talk about some new products that I will be offering on my website MejiasFamilyFarm.com and uh, it's pretty amazing. I love this. This is our Calinda La Rose powdered facial cleanser. Okay, I know what you're saying it's powder how do I make it work well here's the cool thing about it you put a little bit in your hand <laughs> um, add a little bit of water and it will foam up uh, it's a, ver a very light lathery foam we don't want too much and you're gonna cleanse your face with it it has real calendula in here that I powdered uh, made into a powder as well as roses I can also make this in lavender that again will be on my website so you can choose between rose or lavender um, until I can get some other things uh, just think of some other things to make the powder with as far as I mean lavender is very soothing for the skin and roses are also very soothing for the skin if you go into your local uh, supermarket you know and buy a facial cleanser if it is in powder form um, number one it's going to have tons of additional mm, ingredients that you can't even you know sound out you can't even spell if you were to ask to spell that but this one is all natural um, 
like I said, it's rose petals, it's calendula, you know, some uh, clay in here. Um, it also has uh, the foaming agent, which is a palm derived uh, powder and it makes it lather. So it is palm oil derived, uh, palm tree derived, excuse me. So it, it is all natural, it comes from the earth. Uh, and that's an awesome thing that will be on my website. It'll be available in a uh, two ounce or a four ounce size. This is my personal one. Um, obviously, I do some testing on my products before I even give them out to the public. I also have a few um, neighbors that also test the products for me. So I, they say it works and it does what they, they like to feel. Then I go ahead and put it on my website. Another thing that I did make, make is an awesome foot rescue uh, butter. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not hard. It's it's awesome. It smells amazing. It has a uh, peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus. I can put it on my I'll put it on my hand right now. And as you can see, I'm rubbing it in. There's no kind of greasy. My whole hand looks like it. And you can see I only put it down here. <coughs> so it's pretty amazing. I've been using this because here in Arizona, I've noticed that I get uh, dry, cracked heels. Um, I'm always outside. If it's not with the chickens, it's doing some type of yard work or just cleaning up because I do have dogs, so I like to clean up their mess. That I find uh, this is amazing. I've been using it for the past three nights, and my husband as well, and I love it. It's all the dry skin is going away, so this stuff is amazing, and I mean severely cracked on your heels so this stuff is amazing this will come to you in a six ounce jar this is my personal one of course and a little goes a long way because it is oil and butter based uh, as well as with some essential oils there's no preservative preservatives in here if I could say the word right I can spell it <laughs> um, but this stuff is pretty amazing it's all natural and if you want it to keep you can put it in the refrigerator it will keep a little longer and then uh, just take it out uh, during the day so it could warm up to room temperature because it will get hard because it is butters and oils. But as you can see, I leave mine out and it's a beautiful texture, beautiful smoothiness. Here you can see I was able to get grab a bunch. It's just mine is kind of leveled out to the top. And this stuff is amazing. This is also going to be available on our website. Uh, within the next uh, day or so, I'm going to be able to put that up. Just got to um, take some pictures and put my labels on it. But other than that, guys, I am so excited to share these updates with you. <coughs> One other thing that we did get done is, as you see from the paint behind me that I showed you in a previous video. Sorry, I'm getting a little chest cold. <coughs> so... One, it's really cold in the morning, but then it warms up to the 70s, 80s during the day. So the temperature is kind of hurting my throat a little bit. On top of that, the dogs are running around and there's dirt flying. I mean, we are in the Arizona desert. So yeah, it's taking a toll on me. It's not bad. Um, but I am taking my elderberry syrup every day. And uh, it's working immensely. I love it. And I take it every day religiously, uh, whether I'm sick or not. So um, what I was saying about the paint is we did finish the entire side of the house so I'm really happy about that I will be picking up another paint color for the other side so I'm another excitement uh, we got a lot on our plate right now <coughs> so yeah we'll be busy it doesn't help also that I've been sanding the walls to paint and uh, all the extra dust even wearing a dust mask does kind of get all over it's on your clothes and if you don't go outside and shake it all off before you come in you have a big dust ball inside the house so oh, that was part of me <laughs> but you guys yep th those are some updates that I have for you right now please go check out our new products on our website this one is my own personal um, facial cleanser in powder form that's why it's in a bigger jar but as you can see it's not full so this would fit a four ounce jar um, so you can either get the two ounce or four ounce. I will be uh, thinking about making some gift, um, just some gift type items, like uh, bunch them together and make it a gift price for 
<clears throat> Christmas coming up. Um, so I'll be looking into that and making sure that, you know, that things go together, such as our face cream and our facial cleanser. So you clean your face and then you put your face cream on, on afterwards. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the update for today. I thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm new to the whole YouTube, so I appreciate any uh, thumbs up that you like the video, as well as any comments. Um, I definitely appreciate those. And if you want, click that notification bell. Get notified every time I upload a new video. Right now, I'm between two and three days because I am busy here on the farm trying to get ready for winter coming and, you know, wrapping our pipes and stuff like that. So you guys have a wonderful day and be blessed. And again, thank you so much for watching. I forgot to let you know about an awesome thing um, that I spoke about in a previous video. It's the Instapot Air Fry Oven. I've been making oatmeal raisin cookies and chocolate chip cookies in that thing, and they come out perfect. So if you haven't invested in one and you live in a tiny house, this is totally so worth the money. Um, on top of all the other features such as dehydrate, rotisserie, broil, you name it. If you live in a tiny house and you're, uh, you, have, you are small on space, this fits perfectly on my countertop. And still I have all the other uh, countertop area to work with. So you guys, if you haven't yet, and I am not affiliated at, with Instant Pot at all, I just really love their products. As you can see, I got two Instant Pots the large one and the small one um, that I use on a daily basis and I and I and I love them so I just love their product and I love I will help um, anyone such as myself who um, is limited on space and limited on time and uh, just wants really cooked soft juicy food um, such as like I cook a lot of chicken and pork in my big one um, and spare ribs and I've even made flan in there so it's amazing I love the product and uh, if you haven't yet I say go out and get yourself one you will love it too okay guys that is the end of my video no new updates right now but again please like share and subscribe and if you haven't already hit that notification bell get notified every time I upload a new video until then everyone be blessed and thank you for watching <laughs>